Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video session, I'm going to explain how to calculate a leap year. Let's start the session. Here is a program. Write a program to find the given year is a leap year or not. Okay, what is a leap year? We have 365 days in a normal year, and in a leap year, 366 days are there. One day is extra in leap year that will be added at the end of the February. Now I want to draw the flow chart of a leap year. How to calculate a leap year? First of all, I want to start the program. Next is input a year. You will enter one year. And then it will check that if year is divisible by 4, then it will say yes if this condition will true. Then it will check in again, check it again. Year is divisible by 100 or not, and remainder is not equal to 0. If it will be yes, then it will return true statement. If it will no, then it will return false statement. And program will be ended. And the above, if this year, for example, in this structure if you are using this condition that is no then it will check it again years divisible by 400 mean you will divide a year a year with 400 and if the remainder will become zero if it will become zero then it again will show yes otherwise it will shows no in case of no it will return false now we can say that when it is leap year, if leap year is this, then you have to select this path. This path, check the condition, that condition must be true, then you can say that this is true. Okay, like that. I have written a program using algorithms this is algorithm 8 check if a year is leap year or not what will be the input here you will enter input a year this year you will enter and true if year is a leap year then it will return true otherwise it will return false statement year percentage 4 equal to 0 and years percentage 100 not equal to 0 in between and is there input a year suppose now I'm going to enter a year 2024 then it will check the program years percentage 4 equal equal to 0 Twen means 2024 percentage 4 when you will divide by 4 remaining value will be 0 okay now 0 equal to 0 and this is true after this they will check it in other condition because in between is and operator is there this is and operator 2024 divisible by 100 and what will be the remaining value now we are I'm going to check 2024 divided by 100 what will be the remaining value remaining value is 24 and 24 is not equal to 0 24 is not equal to 0 yes true I'm saying 24 is not equal to 0 yes it's not equal I mean this is true okay now you can check that this condition is also true this condition is also true and in between and operator is there what and operator is says both conditions should be true and no both condition is true then if this condition is true suppose this condition is true then no need to check this condition because in between is or operator is there or says that if the first condition is true then no need to check the other condition okay in this case it will says that this is true and we finally says that this is a leap year. Get any other input? 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन नाइन डबल जीरो जीरो नो आई एम गोइंग टू चेक वन नाइन डबल जीरो नाइनटीन हंड्रेड डिविजिबल बाय फोर वॉट विल बी द रिमेनिंग वैल्यू रिमेनिंग वैल्यू इज जीरो इक्वल टू जीरो दैट विल बी ट्रू ओके नेक्स्ट दे विल चेक नाइनटीन हंड्रेड डिविजिबल बाय हंड्रेड then it will check the remaining value the remaining value is 0 0 i'm saying 0 not equal to 0 means i'm saying wrong that is is a false statement okay and this is true statement this is false statement and in between and is there if all the condition will be true then and will return result true okay now this overall this condition will return false okay but still you have you need to check this condition because or is there in case of this 1900 divisible by 400 what will be the value remaining value is 300 300 equal to 0 no this condition also false if this condition is false mean we can say that this is not a leap year no okay next i want to check that if you have entered 2000 this condition will be true yes this condition will be false and years divisible 400 is true then what happen because this one is and is there this will return result false but due to this true because this condition is true in between or is there in between or is there in case of or it will says that this is yes true okay next is 2023 2023 is divisible by 4 and equal to 0 result resultant value is false and year divisible by 100 not equal to 0 resultant value is true and next condition is false and you can say that this is in between is and in case of and this will re result will be false and in between is or is there in case of or this result is false this result is false and we can say this is not a leap year no okay i have written the same program i am defining a function this is my function okay and this function is calling here this is calling here i am calling function here means is leap year and it asking one year it i uh, required one parameter with the name of year okay and we are passing with the the uh, parameter year if year percentage 4 equal equal 0 and year percentage 100 not equal to 0 or or year percentage 400 equal equal to 0 then we can say this is return true otherwise return false okay now i am going to enter the value i have entered year is 2024 and this is this program says that 2024 is a leap year next i am going to enter value is 1900 and it's showing 1900 is not a leap year next i am going to enter 2023 2023 is not a leap year thanks students if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends jazakallah khair